Hi, uh, we're going to do a quick tutorial about fixing texture painted seams in Blender 2.73. We're going to do this one under Cycles, so let's change the, um, the renderer to Cycles Render. And let's get rid of the cube and replace it with uh, Suzanne the Monkey. And um, now we're going to need some extra things here. Let's uh, replace this with a node editor and get a UV editor over here. Make a little room. Now let's smooth Suzanne out. And we're ready to go. Um, the new texture painting system in Blender is different than the old one and you can start painting without doing a UV unwrap but the things I'm going to show you really require that first so let's do that. Um, first let's make up a new set of nodes that are going to be a material and texture for this add um, an image texture and open. Uh, one of these two. Now there, there's a copy of this because the things we're going to do is going to ruin the one you're working on. It'll um, right right over it. So if you want the the thing to be available to uh, other Blender files and things like that, you want to be sure you have a backup copy. And let's uh, load the same file into the um, UV editor. And then let's go to edit mode and unwrap. We'll just use a smart UV project. It'll give us more things to work on. And there we have it nicely unwrapped. Now we can move into the texture paint mode. And there's Suzanne with some really bad seams. What can be done about this? Well, it's quite easy actually. There are two ways to do it. First, let's choose the easiest way. There's a thing called a clone brush. And there are other ways to use this clone brush, but I'm just going to use the simplest way first. Just hold down the control key and pick a place where you want the clone to clone from. Now we can just start painting. Let's clone here and do some of this. Clone it the other direction. And you can see it's beginning to nicely fix some of these seams. Okay, that's one method of cloning. <clears throat> now, if you want to see a render of this, you have to make sure and save it under the slots tab over here on the left. 
you've got a new button that's really nice. Just save all images and now you can hit F12 and get a render. There it is with some of the fi some of the textures fixed on the seams. But that's not the only method. Let's go over to um, Texture Paint again and go to the Tools menu. Um, and now out of these, let's choose a Texture Draw Brush and create a new version of this. And we can name this uh, for projection brush. And down here we're going to have a new texture. Oops, that's the wrong thing. We need the textures. Here we go. Okay. New texture. Now uh, we we go all the way over into the uh, preferences, and uh, in the uh, texture tab, we need to create a brush texture. So you choose the brush, and we can open the same file again and load it and now let's change the method to stencil and there we go we're ready to go. And what this is going to do is project things from this stencil down onto the surface of that mesh. This is even better than the clone brush because you can choose the place you want it overlaid exactly. You might want to um, You might think that the angle is wrong for something you want to do, so you just hold down control and right click and you can rotate this stencil around. Here we go. Cleaning it all up. Maybe we want her to have a stripe across here. It's pretty ugly, but you get the idea. And uh, let's see, let's move the stencil down. It's just with a right click you can move the stencil. Let's look at the stencil. Let's get some of this blue stuff over here and make a okay. And that's all there is to it, except you still can't render what this has changed until you go back to the Slots tab and again save all images. And up comes the render. So you can just continue doing that and fix any seams any way you want to. Thanks. Talk to you next time.